Hey, what's up? My name is Matt Johnston, and I own a film production company called Specialty Field Production. And this is our one-of-a-kind, custom-built Ford Transit production van. And it's the best of its kind in the world. So we built this Ford Transit T250 two to three years ago, and we wanted it to solve a number of our problems that we had when shooting all over the place. At first, my producer and my employees thought it was a crazy idea to build a van because we travel almost exclusively by airplane. Uh, we work all over the place on sweet projects like this. I wanted a van that was completely modular so that you could put Pelican cases in it. It had shelving, it had a power system, you could charge your batteries, it had a data cart that you could do edits or, or DIT or shoot data. I wanted to be able to carry four people along with us. I wanted it to basically be kind of a cool camper van, but for making sweet videos. So we started off with a 2015 Ford Transit T250 with a 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost. What's right about the EcoBoost is it's got 300 and something horsepower, a whole bunch of torque, twin turbos, and it sounds basically like a twin turbo sports car every time you drive it. So this Transit is a high roof, the highest option, long wheelbase, non-extended. And we chose this version specifically. It was actually, it took us a while to find this exact combination because I wanted the headroom and the Transit is actually the tallest of the high roof fans that's available on the market. And I wanted the efficiency. And by that, I mean, on the road, you're limited to a width, you're limited to a length in our case, because we wanted to be able to parallel park it. And you're limited to a weight in our case, we had to be under 10,000 pounds. So you couldn't go for just a giant box truck or something over 10,000 pounds engaged in interstate commerce. That means you need dot numbers, you need to stop at way stations, you need uh, professional drivers, you need all that rigmarole. We wanted none of that. I wanted to be able to parallel park, I wanted to be able to stand up, and I wanted to be able to use everything that's available to me within those limitations. So this vehicle, basically, it's the max you can parallel park. It's the max height, essentially, and it's the max width. So we have everything that we're allowed on the road to use for space. The most important thing when we built the van was it had to be modular. I didn't want to lock into one configuration. Some days you might have a bunch of Pelican cases, some days you may need to put a motorcycle in the back. We wanted everything to be completely removable so that any time we could go to a totally flat floor and fit a motorcycle or a couch or some giant prop or whatever if we needed to. So everything in the van is modular. Everything folds, clicks, and with a couple bolts, we can have it all the way back to essentially original with just a flat floor with tie down. Everything in the van was custom made. We cut, welded, ground, painted, woodworked. We learned a whole bunch of crazy new skills because really we make videos, not vans. Nothing really met our needs that you could buy off the shelf. So this whole thing, everything, everything in the van was custom built. So let's go through the features one time. First of all, it's got a big shelf. You can carry a bunch of stuff in it. That's number one priority. We want to be able to carry our Pelican cases, cameras, and we want to be able to charge stuff. For charging stuff, it has a rad power system. We actually have a shore power input. We have a 2000 watt Ames power inverter. The alternator also charges the house batteries. On the roof, we have two 100 watt solar panels and a multi-point charge controller to help keep the batteries charged. But really, it's just for Instagram likes and it's a van, so you have to have solar panels. We can run the DIT car, charge all our V-mount batteries, charge all our drone batteries, and not touch a power source if we don't have to. We've got a 270 degree awning that covers the side door and the back door at the same time once it's extracted. That way you don't get rain or snow or anything else inside the van when you're loading up. We didn't want to sacrifice aesthetics when we built the van. It is a work van, but we didn't want it to look like crap. So we've got the logo inlaid in a custom floor that's stained by hand. We've got laser etch logos in the side tables and in the refrigerator. Speaking of which, it has a refrigerator, a Dometic CFX 40W, which has Wi-Fi, weirdly enough, because the number one thing when you're shooting is fine Manchego cheese and LaCroix. Also on the roof, we have a multi-band antenna, so we, it's actually a five-in-one antenna. It has LTE bands for our cellular connectivity, internet connectivity, 
It has 400 megahertz for our business band walkie talkies and 5.8, 2.4 gigahertz for our drone antenna. So we can actually run a drone from inside the van and have better reception than if you were just on the standard handheld radio. But really the key, the most important feature is kind of the stuff that it's hard to talk about because it's actually the modularity of the van. The fact that we can take all the shelves out and it can be a flat floor. Or right here, we have these spreader plates that actually lay across the shelves here and here and here and here that allow us to stack additional big Pelican cases or large pieces of gear or like a black arm or something if we had to. So I wanted everything to have a single point of access. So you could open a Pelican case in the van and unload your gear. You could stack your shelves and get to a Pelican case without having to move another one that's sitting on top of it. All those little things, they sound silly, but they save you 15 seconds here or 20 seconds here or 30 seconds. And the way we run our shoots, efficiency is key. This van's really helped us gain that extra level of efficiency and get shots that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to. We also built a custom one-of-a-kind DIT cart. And for you guys that aren't in the film industry, DIT stands for Digital Intermediate Technician, I think. Digital Imaging Technician. Digital Imaging Technician, maybe. But basically it's a dude that dumps all your data, puts a look on your footage, maybe makes a rough cut. And we wanted something that would blend with the van and be just as usable. So our DIT cart actually has a little PC in it with an SSD RAID, a GTX 1070, and it's in a custom cart that locks into the van so that we don't have to tie it down each time. And that cart has its own battery backup so that it can actually be used in the boonies without any power at all. The first thing we did was the shelf. So we sized it for the Storm IM2950 in width and length, and we built a slider shelf that has two full extension, five foot long slides that allow us to slide out two full, heavy Pelican cases. And when it's fully slid, works like a nice table. So you can do all your work out here. We wanted a slider so that we didn't have to lift a heavy case up and into a shelf because it's bad for you. Up here we have a front runner stainless steel prep table. It's actually kind of hidden. So you always have a work surface in the van no matter what. Woo! That's bright. Bonus, doubles as a harsh bounce card. We have exterior facing lights on pivots. So if you're prepping out here, it'll actually light the table. And what's super cool about this entire shelf is it comes out with four bolts. In the van, there's actually uh, spreader plates. So these two wood panels lock into this lip in this side of the shelf, this lip and this lip, and actually build additional shelves. So normally this is your work area, but if you really need the space, you can double these up and put a whole ton more cases in here. This table with a quick lift and a push folds down flat and gives you extra room if you need it. Otherwise, this is kind of your primary workspace. 320 volt outlets, two USBs. We have lights underneath here. This box is good for camera gear. And up here is snacks, which is more important. And we made the end of the boxes magnetic, so they pop out. If you ever had really long stuff, you can actually pop both ends for like C-stands and stuff like that. On the table, we're using an innovative horseshoe mount. We actually sized this piece of pipe to it. We've got a grip spud here. You can drop a head in the innovative mount, take this whole camera build to your innovative cart or to our DIT cart, which maintains the same post size, so everything is universal. There's ram mount balls all over the van. So right here we have a ram mount ball with arm. This can attach to the van in a couple other places for like an iPad or a laptop. In the ceiling, we've got a Vaxair Max van that has a remote, a thermostat, and it'll close itself if it starts to rain so all your sweet gear doesn't get wet. Right now we've got a cover on the floor because it's a working van, but underneath here, we have our logo actually inlaid underneath the poly in stain. Down here, you can see how everything's mounted to L-Track. So you can move these tie downs really easily if you need to tie gear down. The seats, the DIT cart, the refrigerator, everything's on L-Track and everything's easily removable. Our electrical box has a power monitor that tells us what the voltage of the batteries, the amount of current that we're using when it's in use. Our inverter controls are here. Turn the inverter on, which now tells us we have 120 volt output. You can see the current adjust there. And then our switch box from Amazon for all of our controls, plus 12 volt and USB outputs. As you move forward in the van, this is the DIT car area. You can see it kind of locks in here. It's got its little house. And then behind the DIT car, 
there is a organizer on the wall with your Nerf guns in it. There's a RAM mount ball on this side of the table as well, which is great for a manual or a laptop or an iPad. You can pull this guy out, lock your device in these bungees, and then it's not taking up any table room if you have to update the firmware on your Inspire 2. So the DIT cart attaches to the wall with two tension clips and a custom steel bar that we attach to the body of the van. And then it also uses this post here. So you loosen up these super clamps and loosen up the post. You pull the post up. It's basically like a big spud on a dredge. It's got grip spuds on both sides, 5 ace baby pins. It's reversible and it's the same size as the innovative accessories. So our innovative horseshoe, gimbal mount, all that stuff just clamps onto here or innovative cart or the van table. All right, so coming in the side door of the van, we have our Dometic refrigerator freezer here and on the front of it is a front runner table. The whole thing is on a slide, so it comes out of the van, gives you more room inside for doing your work, and then the table has an additional slide for all your snacks, your craft service, for your pample moose. Passenger seats in the van are from a passenger transit, so they have the integrated seat belts and they actually they match the cloth of, of this van as well. They're bolted to the floor on L-Track and the factory quick release brackets. Underneath the van are two big welded spreader brackets that wrap around the frame rails so that there's no safety concerns. On the wall, we just have these nice RB component stretchy bags. There's a couple of these guys up here, which is really good for personal stuff. If you have four people in here, put your rain jacket, your flip flops. Also here on the B pillar, we have these two ram mount balls that are quick release and adjustable for height so that any of the accessories that are in the back that are ram mount can be mounted here as well. We put them here because the passenger seat in the van is actually on a swivel and <clears throat> pop it around this way. It gives you a lot more room to work. And then using the RAM mounts, you can mount your laptop or your iPad right here while you do your work. So up front in the van, we added 320 volt and two USB outlets into this factory cubby zone and wired it all back to the inverter. We've got a Sony head unit that's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, ties into the factory rear camera and has a sweet 4GT splash screen from when the GT was launched. We actually shot it here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. On the back driver's side door, we have another front runner table. It folds down, slides out just like the refrigerator side. And we did a little logo inlay there as well. You can never have too much table space. Exterior of the van, we didn't do a ton, but it does have a light bar. The 270 degree awning I mentioned earlier. It's got all-terrain tires on the factory wheels and then a set of Blizzax for the winter on black aluminum wheels. I think that's pretty much it. The van has really changed a lot of the way that we work when we're working locally. It helps us keep stuff built. We can just pull up, open the doors, everything's charged, we're ready to shoot. I'd say it gives us like a 20% efficiency advantage when we're able to work out of the van versus a rental car. I liked it so much that I bought another Transit and built myself a camper van, but that's another video. Thanks for watching.